presents. NCAA College Football. Today, we're in Franklin Field, Philadelphia for a matchup between Dartmouth College and the University of Pennsylvania. Ed Simpson made the tackle. These are the people playing offense now for Penn. There's McGee in the quarterback, the junior. Stan Koss will be the starting tailback, although we'll see Orkman later. Chuck Nolan, who's doing a lot of running this year. There's a stretch. Slot to the right for Penn. Little bit of counteraction there. As the fullback, Chuck Nolan, is doing a lot of carrying now, spins for about a yard before Ed Simpson tackles him last year. Nolan was mainly a blocking back, but now they're utilizing his speed. He's like a cannonball, just under 5'10", 200 pounds. He's a short yardage specialist. We have a couple of... Steve Grant and Don Tollefson with you for this Ivy League championship game. Penn and Dartmouth here at historic Franklin Field. Let's explain once again. The winner of this game has at least a share of the Ivy League title. They will share it if Harvard beats Yale with Harvard. If Harvard loses to Yale, the winner here has it outright. 14.30 to go in the first half. It's scoreless. From the eye, first man through. That's the fullback, Chuck Nolan, the senior from Bristol, Connecticut. Steve Carroll and Don Pomeroy stopped him, and, you know, Penn with a 60-40 pass to run, but they're liable to do anything. Yeah, I think that they have been strangely silent in the sense as we look at Chuck Nolan there of Carl Hall. He had two of the three touchdowns in the 21 to nothing victory over Dartmouth last year. I think they're going to wait and wait and then go to Hall. Slot to the right. They hand it off. Nolan again. Look at him. Carry people to the 35-yard line. He carried Carroll. He carried Carson. Those are pretty big guys. We talk about qualities you want in a running back. We mentioned before that Weissman is a finisher. When we saw him on one play, he takes the play to the limit. One of the things we saw right there in Chuck Nolan that you love in a running back is leg drive. Keep those legs going up and down, pumping like pistons in a finely tuned car, and you can get a couple of extra yards just about every other play. Nolan has averaged five yards of carry in this game four for ten. Plattis also made a hit on him right away. Second and goal from inside the one. Penn trying to crack on the board first. And they do. Fullback Chuck Nolan. His sixth touchdown of the season. And their short yardage specialist gets Penn on the board. Six nothing Quakers. Just a basic play. I thought they should have run that on first down. You like to have your fullback get the ball. Good opener over the left side of the line there. Just a little hole is all you need down there. Nolan got it, and he took it in for six. Hembro and Keogh open it up. Nolan, the top scorer on Penn. And now Dave Schulman, who's 21. Then you got to feel good about your chances to create a turnover. Once again, Penn defense doing the turnover thing. A delay. Nolan gets to the outside. Good running room. Cuts back in and gets to the 11. Dan Carson and Len Fontes stopping him for Dartmouth, and the Quaker fans are delighted. You mentioned on the handoff there to Nolan that it's a delay. The key on a delay is that you want to freeze the defense for just a second, and then it's up to Nolan as he broke the one tackle. That is also the key. He gets a little bit of a block there. Then look at the way he cuts back. When you have a big, strong pullback, a lot of times he's a straight-ahead runner like a Pete Johnson. Nolan obviously has the quickness to cut back as he did right there. He's carried seven times for 39 yards, and Penn has a first and 10 on the 12-yard line of the Big Green. Big Green could be coming here. Quick opener. Nolan, great balance. Great balance down to the five-yard line. Finally, Mike Oneski gets it. Let's see how this set up this. Not one yard for a first down, two yards for a touchdown. Pin up 14 nothing. 5.36 to go in the first half. Nolan in. Another touchdown for Nolan. At this point, Steve, Gartman is just having no success stopping surges on that left side of the Penn offensive line. We talked about Hembro, Keogh. They are just opening the kinds of holes and moving the line.
line with the kind of surges that is almost always going to produce yardage for the offense. Here we see, Nolan, nothing fancy. Again, it's my muscles against your muscles, and once again, the Penn Quakers win that battle. Here's Carroll, and we're going to see him as he tries to come over and help out. Again, he always knows where the ball is, but he's too late because Nolan went by him on the inside. He gets a piece of him, but only after six are on the board. 21-0 Penn, and they lead. They own the football on their own 10-yard line. There's a nice hole for Nolan. Nolan hangs on to the ball, gets across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. John Corbett again makes the tackle from the secondary, and it's been happening. The line of scrimmage is being dominated by Penn. You take a look at the replay. We mentioned it in the first half, but I'm so impressed with Chuck Nolan's balance and his quickness. He is a big, strong, compact fullback, but so many guys who are like that are just straight-ahead runners. He can cut, keep his balance, and come up with a big gainer like that play right there. A 25-yard pickup gives him 74 on the day. We're just underway in the third quarter. Nolan spins. You know, you may think you may have that guy stopped at the line, but he keeps coming. In the second, and Pat Bueller are out to the left side. Give is to Nolan. He's had a big day. It takes more than one man to bring him down. Steve Carroll held on. Dave Walker was the one caption that would fit that picture of Coach Joe. Why me? Why me on this Saturday? The Bueller twins are out to the right. The handoff goes to Nolan. Look at him pick his hole. Bust up the middle. Break tackles and get down to the 12. John Corbett held on to him like it was a runaway train in the rail yard. We've been mentioning that Penn had gone to the left side a lot, but they can go to the right side as well. One of the reasons they can run just about anywhere now, watch how quickly the play develops. That is such a key in a run like that. If you can get the ball to the back, get him to the hole, get the blocks made, you're going to have a good run. And Chuck Nolan is over the 100-yard mark, 17 carries, 103, two big TDs. First a reminder, the Quakers lead 31 to nothing. We're in the third quarter. A counter. Nolan takes three people to bring him down. John Corbett in there, Lynn Fontes. I didn't spot who the third man was. He's just getting up. But Nolan's had a big day. Kenny Coon, be tough if you're from Bruxville. Up the middle again. Nolan spins and bounces and twirls and picks up yardage at the 21. Greg Cole and Mike Lena haul him down. T formation backfield there. Nolan, short yard specialist. He comes through. First down, Penn. The veteran left side blockers. Hembro and Keo come through. Here we see it on the replay once again. When you got something that's successful, just keep going that way. There's Nolan going to that hole that was vacated after the offensive lineman had opened it up. There was no doubt about that. He needed a couple of inches. He got a couple of yards. And Chuck Nolan and a good offensive line. Right. The good offensive line includes Cliff Turbot from Bedford, Pennsylvania, who's in for him. Give him a chance to see what it's like so they'll be ready for the 1984 campaign. When the ball's between the hash marks, Penn does a lot of shifting around on offense to confuse the defense, to confuse them there. Nolan across the five. Three people finally stop him at the four. Lena and Cole were the first two to converge on him. And I really did see some confusion in the Dartmouth's defensive side when that shifting was going on. All right, once again over to that favorite left side. And Chuck Nolan also gets to the hole quickly. He just does a great job of taking advantage of where that hole is and just turning it upfield. Chuck Nolan, 22 carries, 130 yards, two touchdowns, and he just showed us so much today on this football field. Forget the Chevy most valuable players are going to be chosen, and you know what the great game that Chuck Nolan has had for Penn. I, he is going to be a really highly considered player. There is a Chevy player of the game, folks. Chuck Nolan for Penn, 130 yards rushing, two touchdowns. That man, number 42, has done everything asked of him today. To the victor goes the lady, I guess. And when I played football, you didn't have good-looking ladies in jeans coming over and congratulating you during the game. But uh, it has gotten uh, much different in big-time sports today. 